Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the FA Cup to bring you today. It's Brentford and they take on Exeter City. Well, the hosts certainly go into this game as strong favourites. They have better technical players and can be brilliant when everything clicks. But their opponents are well organised, resilient and pose a threat on the counter-attack. Therefore, an early goal will be the main priority for the home team. And the perfect position to read it. Cox well, doesn't have to do it on his own well didn't go to plan in the end well that'll be a free kick well in truth it could have been more challenging for the goalkeeper Butcher Fazio. And plenty of room in the wide area. Crossing possibilities. And a no-nonsense clearance. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Chowdhury. Good movement. Giving the ball away. Now oh, showing excellent vision. Can he keep his composure? Well, what a stop that was. Ahmed. Cox. Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. Robin. Here is Dan, having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Hardy. Collins. And all the way through to the keeper. Angeleri. And a tidy tackle. And support available. But they took care of the situation defensively. And players waiting at the far post. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and just look at that strike. He opens up his body and makes a really clean contact with the ball. A great finish. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half. 
scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. And an astute piece of defending. Well, Manchester City have been busy in the transfer market. The contract situation finally ironed out, and he could be available very soon, Stuart. Well, it's an exciting transfer, isn't it? He'll add a lot of quality to his new club and you'd expect him to have an impact straight away. Good player and fair value for him, I think. Intercepting it intelligently. Harry Kite. Well, there it is. The hosts haven't had that much of the ball. But what oh, they, they could put it away, Stuart. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. 30 minutes left for play. Now with Rivera. Well, don't forget we have the decisive second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final coming up for you live on EA TV. It's Brentford facing Arsenal. Well, it's all... Must be! That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Chowdhury. And a strong tackle. And the emphasis is on creativity. A fine reading of the situation. Hardy. Can they hit on the break? And he might be through here. And it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Three goals without reply. Might be a chance here. And finishing just can't stop him today. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And he's in. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance.
Well, my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Ahmed. Sam Nomb. Body on the line. Gets in the way once more. Three minutes of added time here. Rivera. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Time for a change then. to get tighter good effort here oh what a goal a tremendous strike hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot absolutely brilliant well look at the replay here because they don't come much better than this he hits it so sweetly what a goal this is So the home fans are jubilant. They are going through. Well, what a good attacking display that was. The passing, movement and creativity were of the highest quality. They are certainly being confident going into the next round. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, that was as good as I've seen for a long while. He was bright, sharp, inventive and, of course, clinical. What a player he is.